values. When engaging in online learning, always act with kindness and integrity. For example, log into Google Classroom. Always remember to mute your microphone. It is a whole new world for students in the Philadelphia School District as teaching began online yesterday. And that was Parkway Northwest English teacher Sharon Santana getting creative in an effort to prepare her students for the change. And she is joining us live this morning along with Parkway Northwest principal Jeff McFarland. Good morning to you both. So good to see you and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good to see you as well. Good morning, rise and grind. Glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, rise and grind. And we're going to start with you, Miss Santana. We'll get to more about your video in just a moment. But first, how did the first day of school go with this new online format? How have students been in terms of acclimating to these online classrooms? Yesterday was really great. This was not the first time we went live because at Parkway, we kind of have been doing preliminary online learning early. So we had a bit of a jump on um, everyone else in the district. So our kids were ready. I had, out of a class of 33, I had about 25 students participate yesterday. Um, everyone was commenting. It was great, we had a fun time. Students muted their microphones, so it was, it was good. So that's a pretty high rate of participation. And as we saw there, you had that video looking to try to get kids <laughs> engaged. What have you seen so far? I know it's early on. But what have you seen so far in terms of their excitement to be back in the classroom and their attitude throughout all of this? I think that they are excited to be connecting with their teachers and their peers. I think that, you know, many of them are at home and looking for, you know, a social and academic outlet. So classes is, you know, allowing them to have that outlet outside of just being at home and trying to figure out what to do on your own for teachers to come in and provide some instructional reinforcement and some social fun. It was it was a bit galvanizing for them. So I thought it went very well yesterday. I was very pleased. Oh, that is good to hear. And Principal McFarland, I mean, I can only imagine the undertaking for all of this to get all of the teachers and the students on the same page to get this up and running. What has that been like? And what are the things that you are still working on trying to get out the kinks, work out the kinks? Sure, it's been it's been a major challenge. We're so excited to to basically build an online school out of with no with no warning whatsoever. Um, it took all of us a day or two within Parkway to come to the realization that it was different. And then literally, I, I can tell you, looking back in the notes, it was March seventeenth where we were all on a call, and we said, you know what, let's start diving in. We know this is going to change. We know we're going to be here for a couple weeks. Let's go. Um, this, the major success is we're almost at 100% engagement of our school and our students, and we're so proud of it. The, the connections are still happening, the magic's still happening, and our challenge is to, to get back to school. The message is that school is not over. How can we engage, how can we get kids motivated without the uh, traditional carrot of grades quite as strong as it usually is? And it takes, you know, people like you and your dedication and teachers keeping those kids motivated. And of course, this week it is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we are so thankful for all of you and all of the educators out there. So, Mr. McFarland, want to ask you, put you on the spot. What makes Miss Santana an amazing teacher? Because we can already see her commitment there. <laughs> well, the way, the way I put it is this. You can talk about the art and science of teaching. She's got all the science down. She knows what she's doing. She's got these different strategies. But I'll tell you what, as soon as um, she reconnected with her kids, uh, the first week we took attendance three weeks ago, um, the seniors were at 95% attendance and it was driven by the magic that she makes happen. It's the art of teaching um, through her and all the teachers in the district. It's amazing to see, to watch, and um, I've been so impressed by, by how she continues to deliver as so many teachers do across the district. And we are so impressed, too, because it's quite an adjustment for all of you guys, and we know how hard you guys are working. And, you know, for the students, it's an adjustment, too, because a lot of them, I know, Ms. Santana, you teach seniors, they're not going to be having their proms, they won't be having those final sporting events. What have you been telling them to encourage them as they navigate all of this? What's your message? Well, I put out a survey every week, and I just kind of see where they are with things. This week, uh, one of the questions 
was what would you guys like to see happen um, as far as a virtual graduation or something you would like the school to do to celebrate you all? And I got responses like letters from the teachers, you know, have awards melt to our houses, have our yearbooks sent to us or our hoodies. So, so many things like that. And I really just want to do what they want. So part of my strategy is just being connected with them, talking to them, seeing what they want and trying to execute that. So, and I really, talk to them a lot. Shout out to class of 2020. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And congratulations to you guys for getting this successfully up and running and to the class of 2020. Mr. McFarland, Ms. Santana, best of luck to you. And thank you so much for all that you're doing. 2020. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks so much. It